All I want to do right now is like shotgun this pumpkin spice latte and like rock it to the moon. Happy fall, y'all! That was so annoying. Oh my god. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily, and today, August 19th, 2021, I am officially canceling summer. It's over. We're, we're done with it. We're, we're done. We don't need any more 100 degree days. We don't need any tornado watches. What we need right now is a pumpkin spice latte and a midnight showing of Hocus Pocus. This is empty. I drank this yesterday, and I just kept it as a prop for this video. Whatever. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about some of the fall winter lines from some of my favorite designers. You guys really liked it when I did this video back in the summer. I did kind of like a hot or not, what's new for the season. This season, um, I don't really have any knots. To be completely honest, there's nothing, nothing that I saw was really like atrocious. If I didn't like it, um, I was indifferent towards it. So this video is going to be a lot more positive. We're just going to talk about some stuff that's coming out or has already come out from these designers that I just really love. This video is just for fun, so I'm not going to be talking about practicality. I'm not going to be talking about price. We're shopping with an unlimited budget today. Let's just go through and just look at some really cool, awesome stuff that I personally would buy. All of it by the way real quick if you haven't already hit that subscribe button honestly what are you waiting for it's totally free what's the worst thing that can happen like you see my face pop up on your subscription feed every sunday just do it just hit the button peer pressure hit the button okay so i'm gonna be looking at this stuff on my phone but i have a bunch of screen recordings that i took so you guys will see what i'm talking about as i'm talking about it so i'm gonna get started with louis vuitton um just because i was a little bit underwhelmed by their fall winter 2021 line there wasn't a whole lot that i was like super excited about there was one thing i'm really loving and that is this on the go in the mm size and it's part of the seasons louis vuitton x fornicetti capsule it's a printed map calf skin with the monogram canvas trim and it's got i guess it's painted on or printed whatever these like buildings that are drawn in the signature Fornicetti matter. I honestly, I don't really know what that means. I just think this looks super cool and like really nicely detailed. I love the monogram through the window sills. I love the monogram on the side and on the inside. I just, I'm a sucker for the on the go toe and this just, this one just looks really special. Um, they have a couple other bags with this print on it. I think they did like the Alma. I know they did it in the Noe MM. I don't know something about the on the go tote with this print. It just looks really cool. It looks really unique and special. I know I said I wasn't going to be talking about price, but it's really, it's not a bad price point for like a unique piece like this. It's only, it's only $3,900. I just, I think it's really cool and really pretty. And the only other thing that really like caught my eye from this collection from Louis Vuitton is this oversized jacket, down jacket, puffer jacket, whatever you want to call it. I don't really know why. I just think it looks really cool like I don't have anything really specific to say about it it's giving me like skiing in the Swiss Alps vibes like just like luxury resort you know sipping a hot toddy kind of situation I love the studded pockets on it again there's something about this that just like it's something unique something that's just drawing me into it I just think it's really just a super cool jacket all right moving on to Gucci again this is another brand I was just a little bit I wasn't even a little bit. I was like really underwhelmed by Gucci's fall winter line. I feel like I could do a full on roast video on Gucci right now. And that makes me so sad because usually Gucci is like my heart and soul, but they've just like, ugh, whatever. That's not what this video is about. Um, what I did like from Gucci is they're doing like a re-edition. I guess it's the sixth anniversary of um, their creative director taking over. I don't know. I feel like because of that, like some of the stuff that they've brought back is dated. I mean, it's 2015, 2016, kind of what they're calling re-edition, and they didn't really do anything to update them. So that was underwhelming. But what I will say that I love is the 2016 re-edition Di Dionysus, Dionysus, whatever. I'll never know how to say that word because they brought back the snake, the snake print, the Gucci snake. If you know, you know, this snake defined Taylor Swift's reputation era it's just so iconic. 
for that whole period of time. That was my favorite era as a Taylor Swift fan. It's just like, it's it's giving me, look what me, you made me do. It's giving me, I did something bad. It's giving me like rep room, oversized hoodies, tall boots. I'll kick a man in his face. Like it's just, it's just everything. And would I like this so much if it wasn't so associated with the reputation era and like that time in my life? Eh, maybe not. I'd probably just be like with everything else that they put out like, okay, cool like you put out the same stuff you put out five years ago and didn't change anything about it. But I was super excited to see this on their website when I was looking at this stuff yesterday. It's my Swifty dream. I don't, that, that's all I can say. It's my Swifty dream. And that's all I have from Gucci because like I said, they just, they just redid everything that they did six years ago and didn't change anything about it. So this, there's nothing new or special about any of it. Okay, moving on to Chanel. It's kind of hard to see stuff on Chanel's website anymore and I know like they're doing that on purpose, trying to get their exclusivity back. So if you want to see like specific like pieces and things on their website, you really kind of have to go digging. But still, I was able to find some things on their website that I just thought were super cool. I'm going to start with the scarf. I'm a sucker for a logo scarf. I think it's because when I was in middle school, the, the fake Burberry scarf was like the big thing. I don't know, something, something about that just like imprinted it on me and I love a logo scarf. I'm loving this one. It just looks so comfy. I love the breakup of like the Chanel, the, the, the letters and the number five. It's not necessarily like different or like really unique but it's just really pretty. Like, <laughs> like th does there have to be a reason for everything? It's just really pretty and I would wear the hell out of it. Okay moving on to these lace-up boots. I am just obsessed with these. I love a combat boot. I mean I I just do. When they're in style, when they're out of style, I love a combat boot. I think these are so cool. I like that they're nylon and leather, but they're way less masculine than the Prada boots that have been coming out recently, which I really do like. The, Chanel, the fact that they're not masculine is what I really do like. The Prada ones are too much for for me personally. I I like them, I wouldn't wear them. I love the gold hardware on these. I really, I love that they're lace-up. I prefer a lace-up boot to like a zipper or something like that. And I mean, what millennial girl hasn't wanted to say? Are you wearing the, the Chanel boots? Yeah, I am. That's, that's the dream, right? Bless you, Bunky. Bunky just sneezed. She's so cute. This is my view while filming. That trash bag is full of stuff that I need to donate. It's not just trash to on my bedroom floor. Look at this little sunbeam. Okay. Say hello. Oh, she's so cute and stretchy. This is why it takes me an hour to film because I just stare at her. <laughs> so cute. And then finally from Chanel, this large flat bag. Chanel and the shearling thing they've got going on is just so everything to me. I am so obsessed with it. I think because like when I was in like second or third grade and like shearling was a really big deal and you could get like a shearling coat from like Walmart. I loved my coat so much. So I think that's why I'm so drawn to these bags. Gosh, I mean, what do you guys think? Are you into like the shearling thing? Are you like, I know a lot of people are like leather and canvas only, that's it. I'm really liking like the mixed media kind of stuff that's going on right now. And I just really like this. I keep saying that, but like, it's the truth. I just like everything that I'm talking about today. Like I, I'm just in a great mood. <laughs> okay, moving on to Dior. I'm gonna start with this cashmere sweater that I am so obsessed with. Ecru Dior Devon Cashmere. They're gonna hate me in France, I swear. First of all, this just looks like something you wanna like take a nap in. It just looks so comfortable. But beyond that, I love like this like detailing, like embroidery kind of thing that Dior does. I just think it's so cool looking. I'm particular about this one because I love the elephant. It just, it looks like something I just wanna like cuddle up in all winter long. It's just so cute. And there is this like wool coat hoodie. I don't really know what it is, but I love it. It's giving me Charlotte York McDougal at the Highland Spring Fling, yelling at Trey in that custom plaid dress in the middle of the dance floor because Trey told his mom that she put their name on a list for a Mandarin baby and Bunny was really racist about it. And yeah, it's it's giving me Charlotte York McDougal vibes. Do you guys like Sex in the City? Are you Sex in the City people? Are you excited for it and just like that? Because I'm so excited. Like I think about it literally every single day. I cannot wait for And Just Like That to come out. And like, I honestly, like I don't even really care that Samantha's not in it. That's how excited I am. Let me know in the comments down below if you are just as excited as I am or if you're gonna hate watch it or if you have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about, let me know. My favorite thing that Dior has come out with is this brick red calfskin. 
Oh my god. This is the most gorgeous red I've ever seen in my entire life. I'm obsessed with it and particularly in this bobby bag. This is like my dream red color. I never really thought I'd buy a red bag, but if I was going to buy a red bag, this would be the red bag that I buy. It's so beautiful, I wanna lick it. I have no words. This is the perfect, perfect red in my opinion. It's like the designers at Dior like picked this out of my brain and just created the perfect bag. It really is. It's the perfect bag in the perfect color. You have no idea how hard it is for me to not click buy it with Apple Pay right now because I really, really, really want to. I have to get off the Dior website because I'm very close to buying that bag and getting myself a nice divorce. All right, I'm gonna end this video with my favorite, favorite thing that I have seen in years just literally in years i cannot stop thinking about this bag i think about it all day every day i look at it all the time i'm gonna make it my phone wallpaper i really am because that's just how much i love it and it is this fendi first bag i don't know what kind of drugs they were on when they designed this bag but i need to get me some of them because this thing is fucking fabulous it's so beautiful. Look at that. Look at the F detail. Look at that fucking calf skin, whatever this is. Is it calf skin? Napa leather. Okay, look at that Napa leather. Every color is better than the last. I would buy this in every single size, every single color. If I could only pick one bag for the rest of my life, it would be this bag. This bag is fucking incredible. It's just, it's so cool. It's so unique. It's so beautiful. It's definitely like classic looking, but also like a statement at the exact same time. I genuinely cannot stop thinking about this bag. Like this is my favorite thing that I have seen, again, literally in years. I don't know if anything's ever gonna be able to top this for me. I, I really don't. It's just so fucking fabulous. It's just fucking fabulous. All right, I have to turn my phone off before I spend all of my money. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below what you're loving this season or what you're hating. Do you guys like like the roast sessions? Sometimes I feel like I can get like a little too mean and negative and like I don't want to put like negative energy out there, but I know sometimes it's just kind of fun. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you like, you know, just talking about stuff that we like together or if you want me to go balls to the wall and roast some stuff because I could definitely, definitely make that happen. I hope you all enjoyed my little preview into fall here. Happy shopping to you all. I'll see you all very soon in my next video. Bye!